there. Oh, moved back too far. Welcome to Painting with Shauna on Thursdays. Uh, it's been a while since I've been here. It's, uh, we are, what, January the 20th, and I'm sure it was October 20th when I, when I, or before that I stopped because I was getting ready for my show. So I'm glad that you're here. If you're here, if you're here, say hello. I've got you on Facebook here, and I will have you on YouTube when I sort of bend over to change the cameras around. And today we are doing a raven. I just thought it would be a perfect thing to do. I've been feeding the ravens in my backyard and they um, have been really frosty, but they won't let me go stand outside and photograph them yet. And the sun's not high enough, it's too low. So in the next week or two, the sun will be in the backyard more and I'll be able to get sort of those really dazzling pictures of ravens. But until then, I had to take a picture out my window, which is not always that clean because we have a busy road behind us. And we're going to paint a frosty raven to honor the fact that January has been frosty in Yellowknife. Okay, let's get going. Okay, here we are. So we're, I've drawn the raven on and now what I'm doing is I'm just going to start setting the, 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 the stage. Now I haven't decided exactly what I'm doing in the background. I know this background is white. I may leave it that way, but I, um, I've been a little unorganized, so I just wanted to get going. And so this is what we're doing. My value streams are, goes from value six to value three. Um, I don't want to go, I, I might go darker than value to value two for little parts of the raven, but I want to keep it sort of in a, a very small value range. What I liked about this picture is you can see all of these individual feathers and I can see that there's a little bit of purples and there's blues. So I have mixed colors to go with that. In fact, I'll bring them up here. I can do that. So you can see the palette that I'm going to be working on from tonight is value six. These are all value six and this one value five and this one value four and value three with some white. Um, so I, this is ultramarine blue. This is uh, quinacridone magenta and this is um, dioxidine purple. So, and these are the, are the same colors, just mixed in with the gray. So let's get going here. I always like to start with the eye because to me, the eye is where it all happens. So I'm just gonna start with building the shape. And I'm using my uh, uh, Mary, Rosemary and Company Ivory Egbert. I, I like, you know, I can kind of change up the use of my brushes as I'm working along. Now I know that they have very dark eyes, but I also know that there's a pattern in this eye because of the way the light and what's around the raven and it's being reflected. So we'll get the, okay. So there's also, I'm gonna bring out a sm slightly smaller brush. And thin out some of the value three and I'm just going to come around. I, I love starting with the eyes because for me the eyes are, um, that's where it's all happening and then everything from there moves out. So value three, value four, five for around the eyes because I see that there's sort of this ridge around the eyes. So I just want to make that a little lighter. I can darken it up as I want or not. I can see I'm just going to go to straight to that value three around it. And all of a sudden, there you go. I'm going to work with a smaller brush as I do these more detailed pieces just to get the this in and then I'll move to the larger brush. 
to build. Okay, let's build out from there. Now there's lots of interesting colors happening in here. And I think what I'm going to do is start with the colors that are up here. And we're just going to build this in. And I'm going to come and tweak this because this is just laying out. Um, whew, I think I need a brush with a little bit more gumption to it. So let's go to my uh, next favorite, my most favorite, the Dakota uh, Princeton Flat. And let's... Uh, Build that up. And I'm just going to sort of play with different colors in different areas because they do sort of mesh. So this is value four that I'm working on. stick in some five actually we'll stick in some of this around in here just to sort of give it it as it's moving away from light it was a cloudy day that day and and I don't get enough light yet to to um, so value three I'm going to come down here with a value it's almost a value uh, 3.5 so let's just lighten it a little bit and I've just mixed up the next value remember I'm setting the stage I'm not really concerned about it being perfect I'm just starting to set the stage and this one will go really quickly because it's um now I've gone too far here I'm going to use my brush to bring that down I heard a ding, but I don't know where I heard a ding from. Can't be my my phone because my phone is on. Um, okay, no, I want to. I want to see the comment. Not. <laughs> okay. No, it's not letting me see the comments. So if you're making a comment, I'm watching on my iPad and it's not doing what I need it to do. So I'm gonna have to. Um, Figure that out. I tried to take it off of my um, off of my computer so that the computer can just focus in on the live stream, not all the other parts. And so I'm just sorting that out, um, which is too bad because that's kind of really annoying. Yeah. Okay. There you go. Uh, everything works when you want it to and nothing works when you don't want it to. Okay, so I'm seeing a little bit of hint of that blue right in here. And almost working towards that magenta as well. Um, I might have to come down a little lower here. Yeah, there. There. Okay. The beak also has some color, but let's just get the values in place for the, the, the beak. And just build it up. Okay, we got some darkness here happening. And we have some darkness here happening. And it's got a bunch of light in it as well. So value three, and this is value four. There's all sorts of feather right there. And I'm seeing a little bit of that touch of that blue right here. Let's get some of that in there. Okay. Okay, now I've got sound that I don't want. Hmm. Okay, so let's keep going here. Down to the value three, which comes around here. 
If I have too much paint, I can just spread it out and move it around. And it comes down here as well. And then we're popping up to value 3.5 maybe to go here because we have some value shifting here. Okay, there you go. So it's a slow build up and you know I paint slowly. If you've been here at all ever before, you know I paint slowly. That is not something I can do fast. So I keep stepping back so that I can see both the image and... One of the things I don't like is to get ridges in my paint. So I'm just going to come and sort of soften some that I see catching the light. Okay, and I'm seeing a little bit of sort of this purple in here, sort of that magenta, and a little bit of the blue, and then some of that darker comes down here. Clean my brush off. Make sure I have no ridges just by running my brush gently across the color, the values that I've got on. Okay, let's do the lower one. Closer to here, I see dark to the, and then here I see dark. Ooh. I can correct any of that when I come back on the second pass, which I'm sure we'll get going on tonight because it's not a very big painting and it's not complex. So I said I've been feeding these ravens and uh, it's been quite fun uh, to, say, to say the least. It has been quite fun. Sometimes it's incoming and 25 of them show up or 20 of them show up and other times it's like one comes and often quietly goes and hides it like they're trying not to share. It's hilarious and other times they're squawking and getting everyone's attention so I'm never sure what that's about. Sometimes I'm outside still putting bird seed out and they're right there and they don't seem to mind me and other times they totally mind me so it's like ha huh, okay. And they seem to like peanuts, which I'm quite surprised about as well. Okay, so right underneath the bill, I am seeing a dark area. And I'm seeing all sorts of feathers fanning out, and I will deal with that later. But So now we're going to go a little lighter. And I'm thinking about the directions I'm seeing the feathers as I'm putting the paint on now so that I'm moving in the right, the same direction. And a little lighter. As I put, on, put these on, I'll get all these general shapes in. There's all sorts of things happening in with their feathers. Okay. Ooh. Maybe seeing it even a little lighter here. So coming in with my my quinacridone magenta, thinking about the angles I'm seeing the, the feathers at. And this is a value five. And let's go to value four and move up. Some of that value three in there with a clean brush so that I can blend it in with these other values. And value four. Okay, there we go. 
Are we having problems with it pausing? Oh. Interesting. The app does not work. Okay, I'm not going to worry about it. The app doesn't work. It's... What a surprise. Okay, so we're coming down and we're just building up. I put a very thin, um, put a very thin layer on when I'm doing this. Um, I'm not really um, trying to make it thick and cover it totally. I'm just trying to get it in place. And uh, oops, let's squirt the. What I thought I would do is not working. So here. So we have a little bit of that dark sort of intersecting here and coming up in here and up into underneath the... Let me make sure I got that angle fairly accurate here. Okay, we're getting there. Let's get some of that blue. I don't want to do some lighter blue. Um, some of that value four and mixture of value four and clean my brush. Huh. Okay, I am really right hooked into internet and it should be working better, I was hoping, but, you know, there you go. It's always a learning. Okay, so let's get some of that lovely dioxygen purple, low chroma purple, and put that in here. Thinking about that shape. And then there is this one here. There's a shape there. And these ones are coming down this direction. The second layer is going to be fun to do because it's my detail layer. layer. And then I'm going to come into the, with the gray because I see that there's some darker gray underneath here, just in this section underneath that feather. Clean my brush. Come on in. Okay, so far I'm really liking it and I'm liking the little chroma purples and blues in here. I think it's going to add some life to it um, and, and some interest. So let's go here. We're going to do some more gray value through uh, four gray. So when we think of ravens, we think of actually are quite colorful. I mean, they are black, but they do have color to them. So, and we can, and as artists, we get to play with that and tweak it and make it more robust um, as we're working on it. Because we're artists and we get to do those kinds of things. We get to make those decisions as we're working along. Okay. Probably too dark on the front, but that's all right. That's just the first pat of it. Um, let's get this long feather here. In fact, I'm going to get a smaller brush so I can manage the paint better. I'm going to spritz my paint. And then we're going to come with a smaller brush and some water and build it up along here because there's a there's this feather that's hanging out and has snow falling over top of it keep 
keep it nice and slender at the bottom and move my way up. Make sure I've got the shape right. Okay, what do you think? I wish I could see what you were saying because nothing I'm doing is working for that. I actually had to shut Facebook off on, on my iPad because it just wasn't doing what I wanted to do. I will work on that. Someday I'll have another computer and that will make the difference because then I can have that computer just running things and this computer, this other one just doing the live streams and then you've got like movement happening. Okay, well, I think that's a good place to say we're done round one. So I wanted to show you one of the things here. When I'm choosing values, I have these value strips that I've made with Munzel Paint. And I, uh, I can bring it up and I can see where the values are and try and, and sort of capture. You can see there are some value twos in there. And so I might be bringing value two in on this next pass. So this is week one. Next week, we'll, you know, we're going to work until I'm done. And then next week, I'll have it a little further. And then we'll work on the last little bit. So I'm just uh, coming back, and I'm looking, and I'm seeing the eye. And I'm thinking that's where I'm going to focus first, is on the eye. I am going to up the reflection in the eye and make it brighter because it's it's very it's not as bright on this but I think it will make it look better so we're going to work on our small brush and I'm going to I'm going to come in and start building shapes so I'm going to start with the dark shape first so that I can get that shape correct in here because I don't have it very correct and straighten it across okay then we're going to do value three and that actually is too big of a jump so I actually don't take value three and value four together to create sort of that halfway step that um, will be, oops, turn my brush off first, dry it off, and then mix that color to that value. The eyes are subtle, and I want to make sure that what I'm doing is um, just building up to it. And, and oh, concentrating and talking, the combination. And then I'm going to do the value three on the top, or the value four on the top. Though I think that's still not bright enough, but I'm going to come in with colors because I can see that there's some colors in them. And I up the shape here. Take a little bit of that value three and bridge that value divide here. I'm going to bring my brush in and I'm just going to touch, 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 soften it. So I've dried it off as best I can. Now I want to bring in some color and I'm going to actually hop over to value five. So I'm going up, this is a value four. I'm gonna brighten it up a little bit. And I think that that will dry my brush and then touch the edges to soften it because it's very softly in there. And I see some of the blue, so let's get some of that ultramarine blue in here, just a little bit of it, just to sort of have some fun with that. 
So what's being mirrored every place will be all high. And my seam dark right against it. So let's do the dark right against it. Here we go. So if you're still here and watching, please do leave a comment. I will come back and uh, respond after my live stream since I didn't figure out the Facebook part of this. I thought I had, but no. Okay. Okay, so there's some dark in here. And I can see actually that some value too might not be a bad idea in around the eye. Let me see if I fixed. I don't have a value two out. So when I come back, I will, uh, um, I will bring the value two in. I just don't have it out right now. I thought I had it out, but I guess not. There you go. Let's get this value three in around here. And a little bit of white, that also makes the eyes sort of stand out and look like it's brighter. Total white, I'm gonna take and put a little bit of that. Some, and then I'm gonna just do a little bit of this. Oh yes, that's a little bit too much paint. Whew, how exciting, but we can move the paint around and I just basically am cleaning my brush off and, and just touching the edge of the paint to soften it and to bring that value shift. Take a little bit more paint and put it there to give it more dimension. Okay. Okay, so the next value I want is probably going to be a full value four next to it. When we put it next to it, you can't really see the values until you put them down next to each other. It, it really is a matter of placing your values and then you see, oops, that you went too light because you went to the wrong, you went to the wrong paint blob. Okay. Let's get that corrected here. Okay. There's going to be some, uh, some shapes in this area too, because it's, um, sort of little bubbles. It seems like around this, around the edge of the eye. And I'm looking back and forth and I'm thinking about what I'm doing. This painting will be up for auction um, when it's finished, back up onto eBay, like I've done the other ones this fall. It's an eight by eight inches, so it's not, it's not a big painting, but it hangs on its own or you can get it framed. You have options here. Okay. Well, I think that's where I'm gonna leave the eye. I'm just gonna come and work around it now. And I'm going to get that darker in and get this shape a little thinner. There we go. Back up. Oh, that's better. That's way better. Okay, and we're going to get this shape bump out. So are you starting to see it come to life? I know I am. Okay. You know, I know I want to get some of that frostiness on, but you know, I have to be patient. I have to get everything else and then I'll put the frostiness on. So why don't we move up from there so that I can get this area done and I can start to put some of that frosty snow that's on there, um, that's hanging off of uh, and around the eye. So I see that I have a shape here of the feathers. So I'm going to just put
put that in place. This is just information gathering, as always it is. And then you correct the shapes as you get uh, further into it. Soften the edge of that by just touching with a slightly damp brush. Back up, see if I like it, I do. And then come forward and see that here, there's a little bit and it goes up here. And it's here. So I'm just placing all the darkest areas in place right now. So that I can say that they're in place and then I can work off of shapes that I'm happy with. Just softening that and just making sure that there are no ridges. Okay. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Okay, well, I'm just going to continue here. Um, what I really like is I see that there's some really pretty purples here. So I'm just going to build some shapes. And then I'm going to come with the gray, the value four gray, almost value five, uh, three. And I'm going to just sort of draw around these feathers to give it definition of where I want to focus. It's interesting, the shapes of them. go. Okay, so I'm seeing some of the lighter purples and blues in this area because this plane is obviously facing the sky more just at the top part and then it is darker as it comes down and we're going to get some of that value five blues and purples into as it, the plane comes away from the light. And then I see there's also a rounding happening here. So this is where the light is and it's coming away value wise. So let's, uh, let's do that as well. I think I see what I need to, I'll, I'll need to create um, darker values of these, but I didn't create enough dark values, but that's part of the tweaking later anyway. Okay, let's take some of this and build in, in here. There's not a lot of detail in this section, so I'm not going to spend a lot of time building detail. I just want to bring that subtle value shift as it moves from towards the light, towards the sky. And then I'm going to bring my Dakota brush in that's a little tougher and I'm going to blend those colors together, those values together, so that it gives a sense of turning. Blend it, blend it, blend it. Okay. back and forth, seeing where I'm at, coming in with my brush to see that I can do, let's move down from the, try and move away from the eye to give it, whew, that's way too light. So let's grab some value three in here and I can see that it comes right around there. It's pretty dark in there. And then it comes back in here. I'm just slowly building up 
I've got my eyes squinted so I can uh, so I can uh, continue on here and working and I can see the values the subtle values it helps to see the subtle values with your eyes squinted if you're coming from Instagram I plan to do little videos after tonight I, I'll take this what I've got recorded and I will make a quick little video so you can see the progress okay now these I'm gonna darken these ones up I'm gonna darken up the purple that I can see right there it needs to be darker yet But I want it still to be purpley, but it's too light. So that's something I'm going to correct afterwards because I don't have the colors mixed for it. Um, I didn't do a value uh, four range with the with the um, the purple and the blues. And I see that that is a mistake, that I'll need to correct that. Okay. Building it up here, blending it in. Okay, we're starting to see some interesting things happening. I'm going to come in with here like that. And all I'm doing is I'm, I'm trying to find those feather shapes and I'm just bringing in and softening the edge of the, the dark that I'm seeing along the side here. Okay. Yes, I definitely have to darken the blues and the purples because I'm seeing that some of this could be really just perfect if it was a little the value was a little darker it would fit more with what is happening okay so here's a definite blue and then oh, let's get some of that let's get this one going I'm going to value 4 in, an extra value 4 and value 3 to bring in and create these shapes. So I've been sort of working towards getting back to painting. It seems last week I uh, did something I've never done before and that was kind of exciting. I was, uh, I I was a juror for an art show for the Federation of Canadian Artists. I have my signature status with them. And so that was kind of an interesting experience. I'd never done that before. And an art friend shared her rubric with me. Thank you very much, Lorene, for that she has created for when she juries. And it was really helpful. It uh, made it simple. And the next day when they contacted me to say, these are the three paintings that were one, two, three, where, where, where would you put them? All I had to do was go back to that rubric and there it was the information was right there and i was able to say this is my first second and third which is different probably from everybody else's there's two other um jurors there i'm not sure who they were because we they never shared who was who else was jurying it so that was interesting too and thankfully it was all online because I can't go and jury anything in person. I live too far away from Vancouver. <laughs> and uh, certainly with COVID, that has sort of made things more interesting. Um, you know, like every place else, Omicron is actually on the down here. It seems like we're starting to move, get less people with it. I've just been hiding away. So there you go. Can't get something if you don't see anybody. 
which is very difficult to do. There you go. Ian and I are here together doing that. Oh yeah. Oh, I'm liking the colors. I, I wish I had the different values of the colors, but I will for, um, for working on it. I will get those values, but I'm happy with how it's coming. So let's come to the beak. And uh, we have we have 15 minutes left, so let's uh, let's work on the beak and see if we can get some of that sort of value shift that's happening there on the beak. I might have to. I know I'm going to have to correct that shape when I do the background. I can correct it because I see that it's too curvy. It's not that curvy for a raven. It's pretty, so let's bring this down and push it in. This uh, Princeton Dakota is perfect because it's stiff brush that allows you to move paint and get the shape that you actually are looking for. Yeah, that's better. That's a better shape. It's not 100% better, but it's better than it was. Yeah. I'll have to come in with the background once I figure out what I'm going to do. I don't know. What do you think? Should I do a pale yellow or a white background? You just put it in the comments there and I will come and see that in a bit. Because my time here is coming to an end. And I'm seeing that there is some of that purple right around here. So I'm just going to put a little bit in. I'm going to take my Dakota and stretch it out and then I can see that there is some blue here and it may be yeah right along there there is some blue so put a little bit in and stretch it out gently with my brush so the lightest value seems to be in these two areas so let's um Get that there and bring it out. Now I and my drawing is not pointed enough, but that's all right. I'm that is easy to correct. And I see as it's the beak is moving away that it actually has a dark part right along there. Probably not quite that dark, but I'm going to bring my brush and, and blend it in and that should deal with that value shift and make it a softer value shift. There, that's better. And then I'm seeing that it's darker as it's away from the light. Okay, let's get some of that dark. And I'm going to just place it in place. Take that Dakota brush and spread it out. I hear somebody coming down the stairs. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear somebody coming down the stairs, but I can. <laughs> so you notice that I've moved this to Thursday evenings because I thought maybe, maybe, you know, they won't... <laughs> I just experiment. I'm always experimenting, seeing where things lie and how things are working. And okay, I'm doing this value in here, which is a value four. And I can see that I really do need that value four blues, and because I can see a little hint of that there. Okay. Well, I'll come back to see if this was jumpy. I thought I had dealt with the problem that I was having, and it doesn't seem to be doing that. It seems to be still struggling when all I've got. Okay. 
Yeah, no, I'm still having a problem with my feed. Okay. Every time I think I've got the technological stuff figured out, something else comes in place. Let's put some of that, that brightness in, that the snow. I don't know if I want it that color or if I want it. I'm just sort of playing with grabbing some of the Clean my brush off to get rid of some of the paint. And then we're just going to start building the shapes in just so that we can, and I'm no, I don't have them as bright yet, but I'm just building shapes. I'm looking at what I'm seeing and seeing where it fits in, in. And if I don't like it, then I can bring it back and I can just push it back into where I want it to be. I think that it's too close. And then we have this shape here, which comes here and comes there. And then this little shape here that comes up here. Now these will be lighter and whiter when I uh, come back, but I'm just trying to get them in place and have them look like where I want them to be. And then I have some frostiness here and some frostiness here and here and I have all kinds of frostiness happening on here like it just is all the feathers are picking up that frostiness and and uh, some of them are fine and some of them are thicker so I'll need to probably go to a finer brush which is oh here it is I have my paint fairly loose as I do these fine lines. And there's one down there. And then there's this sort of in this area here. I'm going to get that slightly bigger brush back. And we're going to just put those shapes in in a general way. I'm going to come back and correct those because, you know, I just, just trying to get the start of the frostiness on so that you can, we have the placement of them. Make sure that I've got the placement right on that beak it comes to about here it looks like and then comes back and I'm just gonna just bounce 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 and then it's coming forward again so I mean that's probably exactly where the nostrils are and we're not seeing the nostrils because they're covered or maybe that's what that little shape is is the nostril on the beak I got some lighter things there. Okay. So you're starting to see where I'm going with this. By the time I come back next week, I will have um, most, uh, some of it done. Um, I'm not sure how far I'll get. I might have some frosty here. I'll just put some in place so that you can see where we're going to have some fun with that. It's interesting where they have the frostiness. You know, I think that's good for today. I think that's a good place to stop. I'm going to spritz my water. Then I'm going to put this back up where I can sit a little Put it back up there. Lighting is always an interesting thing in my space. Down. <laughs> well, thank you for joining me. We got a good start on that raven. Um, I'm really pleased with it. Uh, subscribe on YouTube. Uh, like it. And uh, we will, uh, and yeah. 
next week we'll be working again on this on week two. I don't think we'll go to a week three with it. I think that by next week I will have that and we will finalize the eyes next week and we'll finalize some of the feathers and that will be what we do and then we'll figure out what we're gonna paint what I'm gonna paint next. Anyway, thank you for dropping by. We'll see you later.